This instructional video will help you perform the clean in place procedure on your Flavor Burst soft serve system. Before you begin, make sure you have the approved sanitizing products FlowSan Sanitizer and Sterachine Green Label, mixed to the manufacturer's instructions, as well as Dawn dish soap mixed with warm water. You will also need approved, serviceable, and sanitized tools and brushes, and your hands should be clean and sanitized. You should perform this clean in place procedure every 30 days to clean your syrup lines and remove any product crystallization. The clean in place procedure has four phases prep, flush, clean, and reassemble. Begin preparing your machine by disconnecting the sanitizer tank from the sanitizer line. Remove the sanitizer tank's cap and discard any remaining FlowSan sanitizer solution inside the tank. Rinse out the tank with water. Mix two packets of Sterachine Green Label with four gallons of warm water until dissolved. Fill the sanitizer tank to the top of the fill line with the mixture. Pour approximately 16 ounces of sanitizer solution into a spray bottle and set aside. If your tank runs out of solution during the clean in place process, refill it using the excess Sterachine mixture or mix a new batch using half a packet of Sterachine and one gallon of warm water. Replace the tank's cap and make sure it's tight. Connect the tank to the cabinet using the sanitizer line. Prepare detergent water by mixing several drops of Dawn dish soap with a gallon of warm water. Rotate the 9-tube assembly coupler until it unlocks. Remove it from the blending head syrup line opening. Unlock the coupler body by rotating it from the coupler base. Remove the coupler body, syrup line manifold, and duckbill check valve from the 9-tube assembly. Submerge these parts in detergent water. Place the end of the 9-tube assembly into a container to catch the expelled syrup and sanitizer solution during the clean-in-place procedure. Disconnect the syrup bag connectors from the syrup bag. Remove the blending assembly and adapter from the freezer and disassemble them. Submerge the blending head, gear cartridge, gearbox, nut, spout adapter, and O-rings in detergent water with the 9-tube assembly. Set aside the drive motor. This should not be soaked or exposed to excess water. Phase 2 of the clean-in-place procedure is flushing the syrup lines. Start with the first syrup line, and then repeat this process until each syrup line has been flushed. Locate the pump flush adapter under the bottom tray and connect it to the first syrup bag connector. Press and hold the center logo on the touch panel to open the Flavor Burst maintenance menu. If the screen asks for a password, enter the password. Find and press flushing functions on the left side of the screen. Press the flavor of the line that will be flushed and instructions will appear on the screen. Make sure you have a container ready to catch the flushed water, then press one of the flush buttons. Once the process starts, you can cancel the flushing function at any time by pressing the cancel button, but each syrup line needs to be flushed for at least 15 minutes in order to comply with sanitation guidelines. When the flushing function has ended, disconnect the pump flush adapter and repeat the process until all the lines have been flushed. While the lines are flushing, you can begin the next phase to maximize your time. When all lines have been flushed, disconnect the pump flush adapter, return it to its storage place under the bottom tray, and return the screen to the main menu. Phase 3 of the clean in place procedure is cleaning. Brush and clean the following parts with warm detergent water, gearbox, nut, blending head, gear cartridge, spout adapter, O-rings, syrup line manifold, manifold cap, duckbill check valve, and coupler body. As you do this, make sure the gearbox does not open or disassemble. Be sure that each of the nine individual check valves and the blending head openings are cleaned thoroughly by brushing through each valve and into each opening. 
Submerge the parts in Sterachine Green Label Sanitizer Solution for at least 5 minutes. Remove the parts from the sanitizer solution and place them on a sanitary tray to dry. Clean the exposed surfaces of the bag fitment and the syrup bag connector with warm detergent water. Brush the bag fitment with a medium cleaning brush and the connector with a small cleaning brush. Rinse the parts with warm water and dry with single service towels. Using the spray bottle of sanitizer solution, spray the exposed surfaces of the bag fitment and the syrup bag connector. Let the solution sanitize these parts for at least 5 minutes. Remove the end of the 9 tube assembly from the container. Spray the end of the assembly with the sanitizer solution and allow it to sanitize for at least 5 minutes. Reassembly is the last phase of the clean in place procedure. Start by reconnecting the syrup lines to the bags of syrup by pressing the syrup bag connector into the bag valve. Install the duckbill check valve into the syrup line manifold and the syrup line manifold into the coupler body. Carefully align the pins of the syrup line manifold with the syrup line connector and insert the end of the 9 tube assembly fully into the coupler. Push the coupler nut into the coupler body and rotate until it's secure. Place the cap on the manifold. Perform the assembling the blending assembly and installing the blending system sections of the daily opening procedures to finish preparing your flavor burst system for use. Empty and discard the remaining Sterachine sanitizer solution from the tank. Rinse the tank with water and refill it with flow sand sanitizer by following the instructions in the refilling the sanitizer tank section. Prime the syrup system by following the priming the syrup system instructions. Your Flavor Burst soft serve system is now clean and ready for use.